We've got some thrilling news hot off the press, Service Canada just announced a game changer $2,800 direct old age security, OAS, pension payments, and we're here to unpack all the juicy details. In this video, we're delving into what this groundbreaking revelation means for you and why it's such a big deal for your financial comfort. Let's start with the basics, what exactly are these $2,800 direct OAS payments? Well, they're a simpler, faster way for eligible seniors to receive their pension money. No more waiting for checks to arrive in the mail this cash will zoom straight into your bank account, like magic. But who's eligible for this sweet deal? We've got the scoop on that too. Whether you've been receiving OAS for ages or you're just now becoming eligible, we'll walk you through the ins and outs of who qualifies for these direct payments. Now, let's talk logistics. How do you sign up for this convenience? Don't worry, it's easier than you might think. We'll guide you step by step through the process, making sure you're set up to receive your $2,800 without a hitch. The rising cost of living has been squeezing seniors' finances for years, with many living on tight fixed incomes. But the federal government has finally taken major action to help ease this burden with a new income supplement program called the OAS Income Boost. This new initiative from Service Canada will provide qualifying low-income seniors with up to $2,000 per year in additional old-age security pension payments, paid out monthly. It's expected to lift tens of thousands of seniors across Canada out of poverty and drastically improve their quality of life. The OAS Income Boost program was announced just last week and is already being celebrated as a much-needed lifeline for financially vulnerable seniors. Applications officially open next month in June 2024. In this comprehensive video guide, I'll explain everything you need to know about this groundbreaking new income supplement who qualifies, how to apply, when payments will begin, and more. This could be the financial break so many Canadian seniors have been hoping for. But first, let's quickly recap what the old age security pension is and who currently receives it. The OAS pension is a monthly payment available to most Canadians aged 65 and older to help fund their retirement. As of early 2024, the maximum OAS payment amount is $687.92 per month for seniors with individual incomes below $137,581. So that's a maximum annual OAS payout of around $8,255. However, the OAS payment is reduced by $0.15 cents for every dollar of individual income above $86,912 until it gets completely clawed back at the top income threshold. On top of the base OAS pension, there is also a lower income supplement called the Guaranteed Income Supplement or GIS that million of lower income seniors also receive. While the OAS and GIS have provided important financial support, they haven't kept up with the rising cost of living that seniors face for housing, healthcare, food and other essentials. In fact, according to the latest census data, over 600,000 seniors or around 1 in 8 were living below the poverty line in 2021, subsisting almost entirely on these modest OAS and GIS payments as their only income. Housing has been a particular challenge, with rent gobbling up half or more of the average senior's monthly pension. Rising prices on nutritious food and prescription medication have also strained seniors' budgets substantially. All of these financial pressures have made daily life extremely difficult and stressful, diminishing the quality of life for a huge number of Canadian seniors in the later years when money should be less of a worry. This new OAS income boost aims to provide urgently needed financial relief directly to those seniors struggling the most to get by. Through a generous new supplemental benefit, it will essentially increase old age security payments by up to $2,000 per year for around 1 million of Canada's lowest income seniors. Specifically, Canadian seniors earning less than $24,000 per year in individual net income will qualify to receive the full $2,000 annual OAS Income Boost Supplement. This amount will then be reduced gradually as income rises above that threshold, with those earning between $24,000 and $32,500 still receiving a partial OAS Income Boost. No senior making above $32,500 per year will receive this new OAS Supplement but the vast majority of lower-income seniors living in or near poverty should see a very substantial increase to their annual pension income. Qualifying incomes will be based on total net income for the 2023 tax year reported on line 23,600 of your tax return. So your 2023 tax return will determine your eligibility for the program's first payment year in 2024-2025. To summarize, the qualifications you must meet to receive the OAS income boost are, 1. 
be a Canadian resident and OAS pension recipient already receiving the regular old age security pension. 2. Be considered low income, with an individual net income below $32,500 for the 2023 tax year, for the first payment year 2024-2025, the full $2,800 annual boost is for individual net incomes under $24,000, with a partial supplement paid on a sliding scale for incomes between $24,000 and $32,500. Outside of the income requirement, all other existing qualification criteria for the regular OAS pension still applies. So if you're already collecting the regular OAS pension, you should be eligible for at least a partial OAS income boost, depending on your income level. The only other key factor is marital status. Single, divorced or widowed, if you're single, divorced, widowed or otherwise not part of a married or common law couple, then the above income requirements are all that matters. Qualifying individuals earning under $32,500 per year will receive the full OAS income boost or a partial amount for incomes above $24,000. Married or common law, however, things are a bit different if you are married or in a common law partnership. In that case, you and your spouse or partners combined household income factors into the qualification. Basically, if you and your spouse slash partner have a combined net income above $48,000, neither of you will qualify for any OAS income boost, regardless of how it breaks down individually. To give a more specific example, let's say you earn $20,000 per year but your spouse earns $30,000. Your combined household income of $50,000 exceeds that $48,000 household cap. As a result, neither of you would get the OAS income boost even though based on your individual income alone, you would have qualified for the full $2,800 supplement. So for married or common law couples, you both need to have a combined annual income under $48,000 to receive the new OAS supplement, though the amount you each receive will depend on your individual incomes. Now let's dig into the specific payment amounts seniors can expect to receive from this new OAS income boost based on their income level. As mentioned, the maximum annual supplement payment is $2,800 for single, widowed, or divorced individuals earning up to $24,000 per year. To break that down by month, that means an extra $233 in OAS income each month on top of your regular OAS pension payment of around $687. So if you're collecting the full regular OAS pension amount, this new income boost would bump your total monthly pension income up from $687 to $920 per month. That's obviously a very substantial raise of over 33% to your monthly OAS income if you qualify for the full $2,800 boost. Now above that $24,000 income level, the supplement gets reduced gradually until it hits $0 at an income of $32,500 per year. The government hasn't provided full public details yet on the sliding scale, but we estimate it will work out to around $2,400 annual boost, $200 slash month, for incomes from $24,000 to $27,000, $1,800 annual boost, $150 slash month, for incomes $27,000 to $30,000, $1,200 annual boost, $100 slash month, for incomes $30,000 to $32,500. Either way, you'll see a noticeable boost to your monthly pension income if you qualify. For married or common law couples, the income levels are doubled on a household basis. So you'd receive the full $2,800 OAS income boost if your combined net income is under $48,000. Then it gets phased out between household incomes of $48,000 and $62,000. You and your spouse would each receive the supplement amount you qualify for individually based on your respective personal incomes. 